guys welcome back to our channel we are back again with a new video in our channel and as you know in this lecture series we were talking about topics related to computer networks and while talking about computer networks we have covered a lot of topics till now and uh, in our last video we were talking about uh, layers of osi models so immediately we complete osi model we need to shift to the tcp ip protocol suite but before going to tcp ip protocol suite i would like to introduce you with transmission media because uh, knowing the facts about transmission media is very important so in transmission media what do you mean by transmission media in general in general transmission media means media means a medium through which we can transmit something something it can be message it can be some product it can be anything so if we uh, say in case of uh, letters then what is the transmission media the transmission medium is uh, when we are sending a letter to a person then what we do we post the letter to the nearest post office and the post office send that letter to the uh, person whom I want to send through a uh, suppose post office official their official truck or there is a postman who actually delivers the uh, later to the receiver so we have the truck from through which the letter is going from one post office to another post office so here truck is a transmission medium and when the postman is going to the receiver and delivering the letter to the receiver then uh, the postman is another medium so what is the general idea of transmission medium uh, transmission medium is something which allows us to transmit some message or something from one source to one destination. To work with transmission medium there must be a source and there must be a destination otherwise there will be no transmission as we all know. So transmission medium is delivering or transmitting something from a source to a destination so in case of computer networks this transmission media uh, is broadly classified in two types of medium one is guided transmission medium and another one is unguided transmission medium so here in guided transmission medium guided means something which is covered which is uh, guided by others so from the word guided uh, we can understand that something which will be covered so in guided uh, transmission medium this will be a wet transmission and in case of unguided transmission medium the unguided transmission medium will be where less so in uh, guided transmission this will be a wireless transmission so in guided transmission we will be talking about all the uh, transmission medium that is weird and in unguided transmission medium we will talk about the transmission mediums which are wireless so let's see how can we classify the guided transmission medium further. So in guided transmission medium there will be three different topics we will be talking. First one is twisted pair cable. Second one is twist uh, coaxial cable. And 
and the third one is fiber optic cable so in this video we will discuss broadly about this three uh, wired cable, twisted pair cable, coaxial cable and fiber optic cable. So let us go first with the twisted pair cable. So what's there in twisted pair cable? So now twisted pair cable. So what is there in twisted pair cable? You can see that I have drawn a figure of twisted pair cable where you can find two wires are there and from the name you got to know that twisted pair pair means two wire should be there so both the wire is twisting each other one is going in this way and another one is twisting this one and going to the another way so this is why this cable is called twisted pair cable so as you can see I have drawn the picture of twisted pair cable and here these two are the conductor and the conductors are coated with insulated coated or better say insulated with insulators so that are and the insulators are mostly of plastics so that the signals that goes through the uh, conductor they cannot reflect uh, anyhow they cannot reflect out of the uh, web that is why the webs are uh, insulated with insulators plastic insulators and the main reason of this twisted pair cable is suppose if they when the signal is here somehow the signal gets disturbed by some external noise so what happens when this noise is uh, basically coming to this place the then the this this uh, wire is coming to this side so what happens this is how the noises gets cancelled when it is in this where it will be cancelled by this one when it is here then it will be cancelled by the other one this is how the noise gets cancelled and uh, the receiver receives the actual message that the sender wants to send to him and uh, always remember the signal that is uh, transmitted by the twisted pair cable is the elect electromagnetic signal or better say the electric signal the message is converted into electric signal and the signals get passed through the twisted pair cable and another thing is the transmission media is always below the uh, physical layer so if i have already told that physical layer also maintains or also controls the uh, type of transmission medium how the tra transmission will happen so these things are done on below the physical layer so now twisted pair cable can be divided into two uh, further categories one is uh, UTP unshielded twisted pair and another one is STP shielded twisted pair so twisted pair cable can be further categorized in this two category and the basically the main difference between them is when I am drawing a normal twisted pair cable uh, I have drawn a normal twisted pair cable or better say this is a unshielded twisted uh, twisted pair cable because it is mostly used in everywhere but uh, IBM have introduced this STP in case of their own use so STP is also there nowadays uh, uh, few people are using STPs but UTP is used mostly in everywhere that's why I have uh, drawn a UTP in this twisted pair cable so what is the basic difference between UTP and STP they all the things in UTP and STP are the same 
but when uh, you can see that there is a insulation and this is the conductor conductor is coated with this insulation and whenever we are going with the shielded twisted pair here nothing is extra added just a layer of metal coating so uh, metal coating is added in STP shielded twisted pair so then the thing is uh, something like this and there is a metallic coat and then there is the conductor this is the insulation insulator this is the metal coat and this is the conductor so this is the basic um, basic or general whatever this is the draw uh, the, this is the picture of shielded twisted pair cable so this uh, metallic uh, shielded metallic shield basically helps us to cancel the this this external noises in a better manner somehow uh, sometimes it happens that in case of unshielded twisted pair uh, when there is uh, no metal cover over the conductor it may happen i'm not saying that it will happen but it may happen that the receiver while receiving the message from the sender uh, he may get some external noise or the message may be disrupted by the noise so in case of using this shielded twisted pair the noise is cancelled in uh, such a frequently manner so that in case of 90% case uh, we can say that the receiver will receive the actual message that the sender wanted to send so this is how twisted pair cable works basically next we will go with the coaxial cable so let's see what's there in coaxial cable so after completing twisted pair cable the next one is coaxial cable so if you carefully look on the coaxial cable that i have drawn on the board then you will find that this is nothing but a updated version of twisted pair cable so what was there in twisted pair cable twisted pair cable we were having a conductor and we were having a insulation insulation uh, on the conductor and a plastic cover and here we can see that there is a inner conductor the inner conductor is covered up with a insulator and the insulator is covered with the outer conductor or shield then that one is covered with another insulator and the, finally the insulator is covered with the plastic cover so what is the need of this thing in case of two step pair cable what was there two cable we were using one is for the carrier signal that means uh, one uh, where we'll carry the actual signal that is sent by the sender and another one will be treated as a crown to remove the collisions to remove the external noise from the message so that the message should be received by the receiver without any interruption so in case of coaxial cable what we have done we have removed a uh, wire totally and while removing that wire so we need to recover somehow to uh, remove the collisions to remove the uh, interruptions of noise so what we have done we have added a outer conductor or shield and we have added another insulation on that conductor on that shield we have given another insulation so what happens here the this conductor inner conductor actually carries the uh, signal that is generated from the message of the sender and this conductor carries that signal and this is coated by or insulated by some insulator and then another conductor is there which basically works as the shield which is working as a shield that means it is working as the 
ground and that is also uh, covered with the insulator and the plastic cover so if you look very carefully that in, if we uh, just describe two state pair cable that then uh, what was there there was two conductor there was two insulation and plastic cover so what we have done we have combined that two cables in one this is how the Kozel cable is designed so that we can uh, remove the use of two wets and we can implement uh, it in a single wear and we can perform the same as that twisted pair cable can do and in Kozel cable what happens there is very less chances of external noise there is very less chances of collisions or interruptions by other no um, noise uh, so the receiver will receive the actual message and the message will be sent successfully so this is how the coaxial cable was designed to remove the use of two wires which helps us to remove the cost as well and this is how coaxial cable basically works and after we have uh, idea about coaxial cable we will shift to uh, fiber optic cable and fiber optic cable is a uh, worst topic so we will be talking about the fiber optic cable in our next video thank you keep watching our videos don't forget to give a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you